study of inquest of God brought out in the form of four categories. First category is preparatory measures. Second category is ponder over simultaneously on various topics. We need not take Suppose I'm... And the third was sadhana and the fourth is daily practice. Slowly we are trying to evolve, you know. Now that the sixth, we are running the sixth month, so far we are trying to consolidate all our earnings which will help us to gather more and more. In-depth study is always a comma, you know? it can never be a full stop. Till we drop, drop the body, you know, the 
in depth study should go on he will relieve to reveal to us what can be understood by us if it is given to us in one go we will not be able to assimilate or absorb that is why he makes us to go through this journey and in installments he is giving us providing us we forget again we have to remember day for us today we were again thinking talking about the grace you know about which we had elaborately dealt with but somehow it doesn't stay with us so by that you know papa is making us remember unless and until we try to imbibe to we will not be able to build up the next properly we may be building it up but not properly so the first one was remembering the grace the first and foremost step though we were reading in quest of god a t number of times we somehow we were not drawn to this word it was about 2 years ago in 1920 that ram first kindled you know that word you know ram first kindled in ramdas it did not strike to us right from the beginning you know the first line he is bringing the word ram remembering him and becoming subservient to him is the main clarion call given to us through this inquest of god every time we thought this is the one this is the one so when he made us to think about grace they look here that is the first and foremost thing so you should try to remember him he remembers you you should try to remember him he is pouring on his gra- pouring his grace on you you should remember that he is pouring on his grace pouring on you his grace he is activating everything through you but you should know that he is activating through you is it becoming clearer and clearer now huh? this particular word ram first kindled in the heart of his humble slave ramdas i mean makes us to think oh i forgot this the basic thing i forgot he has been kindling i am not responding i am not receptive because i am preoccupied with me and mine if we can understand this we have understood almost of uh, in god's regard because throughout this 37 chapters we find only ram 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 somebody the other said no they counted 400 times more than you know more than 10 times in a in its chapter to hammer this into our brain so it was about 2 years ago in 1920 that ram first kindled in the heart of his humble slave ramdas a keen desire to realize his infinite love there we start you know now slowly we are we have to we are starting from where we have to start you know <coughs> and then next one was ram because ram is he is introducing ram through the first article and all these 37 chapters ram 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 is there so who is ram i should know i had a hazy idea no 
because we have been associating with uh, Ananda Ashram and we have not seen any idol here nor any ritual attached to the idol worship. So one thing we were know, knowing that uh, it is not normally called the Saguna aspect of Lord Sri Ramachandra Murthy. But what is the other one that we have no idea. A few days back, because we were still struggling, Papa led us to Mataji's words to say that uh, 11 times she proposed only to know the Nirguna Tattva. So Ram stands for the Nirguna Tattva. Just like love, compassion, truth, sacrifice, selfish, selflessness, all these things are impersonal in nature. No? So here also it is impersonal, impersonal, impersonal. Okay, if it is impersonal, how do we connect it with our spirit? That was the third point. Then we came to know, we know, we have some idea about spirit because we have been taught by Dr. Bhujanga Shetty about various things that are going on inside our body which we are not doing it, on which we have no control. So slowly that becomes clearer to us. We don't have to look up to anything, we have to close our eyes and look up to, uh, uh, look in, look within. The heartbeat, the uh, blood circulation, the digestion, the breathing, eh? so many things, you know. So Ram and Spirit are one, okay. And then the third, fourth one is me and Ram. I am there, you know. Whatever said and done, I am still there, powerful. So we are trying to understand the relation between me and Ram. And intellectually at least we know now that without Ram, I don't exist. And for which I should rely on him in, inside. In this connection we thought it would be appropriate again to read a few lines of Swami Yatishwarananda of Ramakrishna Mat. The real Guru who reveals to us the truth is in our own heart. And he is none other than the Divine himself. His message very often comes through some person who is also called Guru. Simple, no? Without a complicating it, he beautifully puts it. The real Guru who reveals to us the truth is in our own heart. And he is none other than the Divine Himself. His message very often comes through some person who is also called Guru. So the Divine is sometimes called the Guru of Gurus. We should not expect much from the outer Guru, but should try to be in tune with the inner Guru. The Divine in us. The soul of our souls. And draw knowledge and inspiration from Him. From Him, capital H. Both the teacher and the pupil should try to be as much impersonal as possible. This becomes possible if the teacher tries to see the divine in the student and the student also tries to feel the divine in the teacher. Papa was seeing the divine in all of us. We were not seeing. <laughs> we were seeing only the form. This becomes possible only, both the teacher and the pupil should try to be as much impersonal as possible. This becomes possible if the teacher tries to see the divine in the student and the student also tries to feel the divine in the teacher. One should try to think of the other, not as a person, but as a manifestation of the principle, P capital, and oneself also as such. This is the beginning of practical Vedanta. 
and then in due course this ideal encompasses everything and every being the lord comes to me in the form of devotees and i should try to see him in them more than their personalities the student also should recognize the divine principle in the one who brings the message and also in oneself who receives it it is then that the spiritual teaching becomes fruitful and one is able to realize the same divine presence in all we will go through it again the trouble with most spiritual seekers is that they identify themselves with their own bodies and personalities and remain stuck here if they have a spiritual teacher they cling to the form and personality of the teacher also this is nothing but materialism pa do given a spiritual color however useful it may be in the beginning the spirit this spiritual materialism must be transcended but how to do it is the question as one advances on the spiritual path one must come to realize that the worshipper is a soul and the deity that is worshipped is none other than paramatman itself the soul is as it were a part of the paramatman the infinite spirit and the guru also in his true nature is a divine manifestation through whom flows the divine grace knowledge love bliss the spiritual seeker should always remember that the idolizing of a human form and the blind worshiping of a human personality are a stumbling block in spiritual progress and is harmful to both the disciple and the guru the a true teacher is a free soul and would very much like to see that all his disciples stand on their own feet realize their divine nature solve their individual problems developing a cosmic outlook it is for this reason that the wise spiritual teacher deprecates the idea of blind personal service which is very common in india most of the disciples forget that the following of the ideal and the living of the life are much more important than attending on the guru in person this danger of falling into the rut of the guru cult ah we can avoid only by meditating on the formless infinite spirit who is also infinite knowledge infinite love and infinite bliss again when we return to the plane of personality we should stress more the spirit and not the form in order to avoid self deception it is good to meditate on the infinite spirit merging all forms into it and try to be established in the supreme consciousness through repeated practice this helps not only the student but also the teacher toward the realization of perfect freedom and peace somebody would have had the privilege of going through scriptures somebody would have the privilege of attending so many satsang somebody would have the privilege of meeting mahatmas and naturally the tendency will be there to share this when asked but while sharing this is all these are all forgotten so he says the one who is sharing and the one who is shared you know both of them should feel always try to connect up with the impersonal aspect ah
a great saying came about uh, 20 years back he was staying here for more than 10 15 days he was staying with us in sadhana kudir one person who writes lot of books on the various life and teachings of mahatmas a noble person he was talking about the uniqueness of ananda ashram where here you know the talking is less than practice is more he was telling he was telling chanting of god's name whether it is on the superficial plane or on the deeper interplane or in between the level still that is the one that goes on and it is because of that people come here people, people come here initially not because of any lecture immediately the saint turned towards him and asked him are you joining the chanting either in the bhajan hall or in the samadhi mandir or are you silently doing it by yourself suddenly he kept quiet we were there with him it was a eye opener for all of us the person who writes suddenly you know he forgets annoyingly he is also a noble person has been associating with ashrams and mats only he has met lot of people it was he who brought this swami also because he was pretty old he cannot move independently move about but the moment he asked you know he said yes i don't do that then he said don't say then you say this is what i understand but i have not been able to do it i find when people come here this is your inference you can say it is the nama that is attracting the whole people eh you can say that i we feel that it is the nama that is attracting the people rather than any course or any like series of lectures or something like that or a curr- curriculum or a, a systematized you know covering up of portions nothing of that sort here it is starting is ram nam ending is ram nam starting ram nam probably without with properly not having understood ending ram nam with proper understanding so do this had happened 20 25 years back when we read this we remember that both should be no it is in order to avoid self deception it is good to meditate on the infinite spirit merging all forms into it and try to be established in the supreme consciousness through repeated practice this helps not only the student but also the teacher towards the realization of perfect freedom and peace a very very thought provoking point you know even today one uh, devotee with all his love and uh, faith he sent us an email that uh, we have an ashtotram of, of papa parampuja papa 
Even somebody had also composed in Kannada, you know. We don't remember. Something like Suprabhat. No, something like Suprabhat. So the... Eh? Ram Das Gita, something like that. So then, uh, once we were requesting Swamiji, uh, many people may not know Kannada, so whether it has been translated into English, whether it is necessary. Swamiji said, enough books are there, no, that is enough. Let us not add anything more. And today also we replied, it can be done. But we should always remember what Papa has told us. What did Papa tell us? Pooja Mataji Papa says Have Ramdas in your thoughts As the impersonal, immutable, deathless, cosmic spirit And give up attachment to external forms Directly you do this, you will attain liberation and immortal joy and peace within. Don't substitute a golden chain for an iron one. Both are cause of bondages. Yesterday we happened to go through the gospel in the evening at uh, in Shant. Sadhana Kuriyar. So, a group of devotees from uh, Yogi Maharaj had come yesterday, you know. So, somebody was asking when was his visit. So, we said you can take up the gospel and show you. So, in the first volume, it has been recorded. It has not been recorded as Yogiji, but as a Bihari, an odd Bihari. That's what starts. So in that, many of you might remember, when Papa was emphasizing on this to him, he was very much attached to the form of Papa and Mataji. Beyond that, he cannot think anything else. So when he was insisting, 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 Papa said, that will not help you, same word, it will not help you. Then he, you know, he said, I am not for this Nirguna Nagaragar. I am for this Saguna Rupa, Aradhana. So he was not able to understand it even when Papa repeatedly told him here and then later on in Bhavanagar. But he was very plain. He said, I am, I am unable to go along with the Nirguna Tattva. I am after this Saguna Tattva. But Saguna Tattva is not wrong. Is not, is not wrong, but it cannot take us beyond the heaven. That's what we have understood from Papa's. Though Papa has clearly written, how many of us have understood this, you know? He clearly mentions here. First he said, Ramdas never joined any organization for his spiritual growth. Guru within him mysteriously guided him and made everything easy for God realization. Then he found that the best rules to be followed were those which the inner Guru set, from, set for him from time to time. 
it is clear that our guide in such matters must be the guru within us and not without we are reading 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 how many times you know and then mata ji's clarity when mata ji said you know whenever i thought of god as ram i felt god was away from me but when i thought of god as papa i felt his nearness so i went and told papa accordingly then papa said to me if you can't think of him as ram dwell on him as papa at the same time beloved papa wanted us to connect with his impersonal aspect have ramdas in your thoughts as the impersonal immutable deathless cosmic spirit and give up attachment to external forms directly you do this you will attain liberation and immortal joy and peace within yourself don't substitute golden chain for an iron one both are causes of bondage the same thing is brought out by atishran ji maharaj they are indeed blessed who get the guidance of an illumined soul however it is not enough to come in contact with a guru and receive some instruction from him you should follow his teachings with great faith but you should not get too much attached to him emotionally and cling to his outer form a true teacher wishes his disciples to love god more than himself and to look look upon him only as an instrument of the divine the real guru who reveals to us the truth is in our own heart and he is none other than the divine himself his message very often comes through some person who also is called guru so the divine is sometimes called the guru of gurus we should not expect much from the outer guru but should try to be in tune with the inner guru the divine in us the soul of our souls and draw knowledge and inspiration from him capital h both the teacher and the pupil should try to be as much impersonal as possible this becomes possible if the teacher tries to see the divine in the student the student also tries to feel the divine in the teacher <laughs> so in quest of god the in depth study reveals you know nowhere papa was clinging on to an outer guru though the uh, though ram was guiding him throughout whenever he had doubts he again calls he connects himself with the guru only, inner guru only ram there is none else other than ram and ramdas you know with that background we should read this you know or with this background we should read that in depth study reveals all these things to us whenever papa was uh, requested to stay in any ashram he declined not because of any disrespect but the need was not felt because he is with him you know ram is with him always then where is the need for to join an organization to remember ram in other words papa is telling us by the time you complete you feel that you have done enough on in the uh, in quest of god you will no longer need the book you should feel his presence within you should feel his guidance within
in untold words he is now revealing all these things to us then only the real real in the study has taken place pa just like that swami asked you know you are reading discussing everything is there but if you are not aware of him when we talk so much thing about nama chanting we are chanting but we are not feeling that he is making us to chant and we know the result for ourselves both the teacher and the pupil should try to be as much impersonal as possible this becomes possible if the teacher tries to see the divine in the student and the student also tries to feel the divine in the teacher one should try to think of the other not as a person but as the manifestation of the principle p capital and oneself also as such this is the beginning of practical vedanta then in due course the ideal encompasses everything and every being the lord comes to me in the form of devotees and i should try to see him in them more than their personalities ganeshana when you are sharing about uh, bhagwan must be 20 years back you know 20 25 years back he was here for a month every day he used to share some anecdotes one day he was telling you know the uh, during this uh, what is that a uh, guru ha giri pradakshina giri pradakshina on the every day or some some important day is there kartik so the uh, sarvadhikari swami ji in all with all good intention he did not want uh, ravana bhagavan to be cramped you know so many people will rush so he before bhagavan they, he put some barricade some benches or something that way so evening uh, they, they will start coming when the sarvadi gari left <laughs> bhagavan came and sat before the barricade so when people started coming sarvadi gari thought what is this i have done so arrange so many arrangements then bhagavan said they are not coming to see me they are coming they are coming to give me the darshan of them we are remember now this the lord comes to me in the form of devotees and i should try to see in them see him in them more than their personalities ah where are we where are we where are we the student also should recognize the divine principle in the one who brings the message and also in oneself who receives it it is then that the spiritual teaching becomes fruitful and one is able to realize the same divine presence in all in tamil la chulluvale madayil adichukada vanu how many times we have read but we have not understood Ah. Uh, to to Ramana Baba Arunachala was both Nirguna and Sagana Brahman. Am I right? He was he he was always reveling in that, no? So we have to infer that to him there was no difference. from all that we go through one by one
he always says there is nothing to be realized you are that no it finished as if it is so simple there is no starting point that means you know he he, he got established in it never he moved out of the place to him this sarguna niguna nothing was there as a sen- the sense of individuality only they they are coming they are giving me darshan no the lord is coming through those forms to give him me the darshan just like papa was ah, papa was motivated by ram to go out on 27th december there was no need you know god is everywhere but still he was prompted to go and have the privilege of seeing him everywhere similarly there was no need for bhagwan to go anywhere but when people started giving he gets the joy you know bliss thank you swami ji hari om hari om in uh, the other day we were reading you know the in world is god papa said there are two roles two roles ram has given to papa one is the nirguna nirvigar the as a witness and the second second one as an actor you know sense of individuality both 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 so here we have been asked the lord comes to me in the form of devotees and i should try to see him in them more than their personalities the student also should recognize the divine principle in the one who brings the message and also in oneself who receives it that means constant remembrance now now we get some idea about constant remembrance you know constancy in what constancy in this recognizing the truth oh it is then that the spiritual teaching becomes fruitful and one is able to realize the same divine presence in all the trouble with most spiritual seekers is that they identify themselves with their own bodies and personalities and remain stuck there i am so and so if they have a spiritual teacher they cling to the form and personality of the teacher also oh mari kaliya swami ha ಪರಂಬ್ರಹ್ಮ all mahatmas have tried their level best to uh, inject these ideas through many shlokas you know every day mata ji when we uh, start the guru Man- guru stuti we all must be remembering brahmanandam you no know? is it there in the first india first itself it is nirguna tattva you no know? ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದಂ ಪರಮಸುಗತ ಕೇವಲ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಾತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾಕಮಲಮಚಲ ಸರ್ವೀಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ 
ബ്രഹ്മാനന്ദം പരമസുഗതം കേവലം ജ്ഞാനമൂർത്തി ദന്ത്വാതീതം ഗഗനസദൃശം തത്വമസ്യാതിലക്ഷ്യം ഏകം നിത്യം വിമലമചലം സർവതീ സാക്ഷിഭൂതം ഭാവാതീതം ത്രിഗുണരഹിതം സദ്ഗുരും തം നമാമി now it is becoming clearer and clearer again you will forget you know that is the problem why now it is answered because we identify ourselves with our own bodies so naturally we will see the body and get stuck there as one advances on the spiritual path one must one must come to realize that the worshipper is a soul and the deity that is worshiped is none other than paramatman himself the soul is as it were a part of the paramatman and the guru also in his true nature is a divine manifestation through whom flows the divine grace knowledge love and bliss the spiritual seeker should always remember that the idolizing of a human form and the blind worshiping of a human personality are a stumbling block in spiritual progress and in is harmful to both disciple and the guru a true teacher is a free soul and would very much like to see that all his disciples stand on their own feet realize their divine nature and solve their individual problems developing a cosmic outlook we will be able, that means we will be able to solve our problems when we uh, raise ourselves from the individual level to the cosmic level encompassing everybody it is for this reason that the wise spiritual teacher deprecate the idea of blind personal service which is very common in india most of the disciples forget that the following of the ideal and the living of the life are much more important than attending on the guru in person this danger of falling into the rut of the guru cult we can avoid only by meditating on the formless infinite spirit who is also infinite knowledge infinite love infinite bliss again when we return to the plane of personality we should stress more the spirit not the form in order to avoid self deception it is good to meditate on the infinite spirit merging all forms into it and try to be established in the supreme consciousness through repeated practice this helps not only the students but also the teacher towards the realization of perfect freedom and peace so this is a one more dimension you know throughout the 37 chapters papa is only dealing with ram he whenever due to old habits he feels to share or consult or seek guidance from he talks to the inner reality only second chapter no second chapter now from the narrow pond of a worldly life ram had lifted up his slave to throw him into the extensive ocean of a universal life but to swim in the wide ocean ram knew ramdas wanted strength and courage for gaining which ram intended to make his ignorant and untrained slave to pass through a course of severe discipline and this under his direct guidance and support direct guidance and support 
so one night while engaged in drinking in the sweetness of his name ramdas was made to think in the following strain the consultation seeking guidance you know not outside o ram when thy slave finds thee at one so powerful so loving and that he who trust thee can be sure of true peace and happiness why should he not throw himself entirely on thy mercy which can be possible only by giving up everything he called mine so the first lesson is he is consulting you know he is seeking guidance from the inner guru ram and if i am to lay on him always my original plan, what do you call thinking planning safeguarding all this should not will not be there you know when he is with me so this in depth study again and again and again reminds us only this all the preparatory measures and what are to be pondered over what are to be taken as a sadhana what are to be your daily practice it should all cultivate sorry it should all culminate into constant remembrance of the truth that he is guiding he is leading he is taking care of this can be sure of true peace and happiness why should he not throw himself entirely on thy mercy which can only be possible by giving up everything he called mine the what all in all to thy slave the what the sole protector in the world men are deluded when they declare i do this i do that this is mine that is mine all o ram is thine all things are done by thee alone thy slaves one prayer to thee is to take him under thy complete guidance and remove his hinders second chapter putting in constant effort to subdue me and me and trying trying not to undertake spiritual disciplines for worldly achievements so then uh, to put it bluntly you know we are deceiving ourselves you know we say it's a spiritual practice the real spiritual practice is handing over everything to him if we make use of the spiritual practice for again our ephemerals the and self deception no so this is how the first part preparatory measures comes to a close swami ji ah in the preface uh, before the first chapter papa uh, has clearly mentioned at least about six points on subduing the ego ah submit complete surrender Uh, humbling ourselves subdue our egoism self assertion to be so many six points at least hmm the first article itself yes one everything is here that which is blocking us has been clearly 
brought out here in the first article itself to wake up from this illusion of forms he is present in all things and in all creatures who only appear as separate entities due to their ever changing forms to wake up from this illusion of forms is to realize at once the unity or love of ram love of ram means love of all beings all creatures all things in the world because ram is in all all is in ram and ram is all in all pa to realize this great truth we who through ignorance feel as separate individuals should submit ourselves to the will and working of that infinite power who is one and all pervading by a complete surrender to the will of ram we lose consciousness of the body which keeps us aloof from him and find ourselves in a state of complete identification union with him who is in us and everywhere around us in this condition hatred which means consciousness of diversity ceases love consciousness of unity is realized this divine life can be attained by humbling ourselves to such a degree as to totally subdue our egoism our self assertion as a separate individual existence one thing you know you we, we, we all of us can observe now papa is not making us to move further no <laughs> all these things we are telling again go to the first page you know you have not understood the first page talking 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 and where are you you have not understood even the first page So we will all take note of this humbling ourselves to such a degree as to totally subdue our egoism, our self-assertion as a separate individual existence. I am only a part and parcel of you, you know. Okay, every day he reminds, he is not allowing us to move. So tomorrow we will take up knowing you were and the world origin. That's all the important. This will all add, you know, ponder simultaneously on knowing you were and the world's origin. Try to enter into the mysterious origin. of your and the world leader just now you know yatindra edishan the swam samji said you know so here the there is no difference between the guru and the shishya guru is the god god has entrusted the guru to convey this message to us he is inside to know that he is inside i go to a teacher now i understand to some extent that he is seated within me to know him my own self effort has not helped so he sends a messenger through the outer guru not to know the guru not to know the scripture not to know anything else but to know that he is seated within so he is also he is a messenger guru is a messenger of god and we the receiver of that message in both of us this ram is there ram is sending the message that he is within us 
through a messenger called the Guru to whom he is sending to the to his creation who is unaware of his presence. So from different angles we have to see now. Hmm? So that somehow we get rooted in in the truth that he is within, he is within, he is within, he is within. Let us not get stuck with anything that is outside. How clearly Mataji mentioned this and how In this context, we remember the words of Puja Mataji. I wanted all you to read it 11 times so that your mind would turn within to Nirguna Brahman. There is a special reason for Papa making me to ask you to read 11 days. It is intended to take you within. You may not attain Papa within you on the 11th reading, but you will at least have started going within. It is like entering the ashram gates. Once you are within the gates, you have nothing to fear. Likewise, once you turn your gaze within, you have nothing to worry. What an important message Mataji has given to us. And how we have unknowingly not given due consideration for the same. Unknowingly, not that we... It is just like entering the ashram gates. Once you enter, when you are within the gates, you have nothing to fear. Likewise, once you turn your gaze within, you have nothing to worry. Anybody would like to say anything? <laughs> and Mother just asked us to go within. What did you say, Delhi? You know? Still, is there anything? Swamiji. Oh. Coming into the ears of the IPG and the summon uh, bond. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Tomiji? Ah. Yes? Number one. Number one. Number one. But uh, our vanish on the number of the full fund. I'm beginning to be very good. Papa to lure complete your time. A year, come to come to come That's why the very fact that he is doing everything, it is a realization point. It is not an intellectual assimilation. We have assimilated, no doubt, but we have not experienced. So until such time, the struggle will be there. But at least now he is guiding us. Though we have been indifferent, unknowingly we have been indifferent. 
we have not been prioritizing we are not we have not been focusing but in spite of that he brings so many so many dimensions through which this important point is hammered into our brain this is the cream of in quest of god no you would have read it many times we never knew that 400 times he has repeated ram you know even now when we say it is not for the statistics how many times he mentioned ram of course we are to to know that we are counting that salt but it is not for counting or statistics you know how many times he remembers he in, in, he brings the god dimension so that the individual is not given any room you know the sense of individuality is not given any room to enter in ah he, he the, the, the otherwise you know given a small hole this fellow will go in so that is why to remind us many chapters you will know it, it has only two two pages or three pages some pages some chapters will have three four pages that's all mostly you know mostly it will be two pages three pages or four pages at best in that he is mentioning so many times ram now we are slowly realizing it is only to make us understand that uh, we are putting all this barricade ram so that the me and mine will not stealthily enter so that is the central message of in quest of god every day we say this is that that is that we keep on changing it okay now today he makes us to know this is the central theme this is also the central theme okay swami ji oh chalo go swami ji hmm almost every value or every point has been uh, mentioned at least twice in the book Mm. Sometimes more than that. Mm. Repetitive. Then only we will remember. Even yesterday, what we said, we will not remember today. No. So this has, this should be there. Hammering should be there. We have to keep on repeating what we have been telling. Just like we are repeating Ram Nam, you know. Why are we repeating Ram Nam? only to make us understand that he is there it is not for the sake of ram nam it is connected with the eternal reality ah in in one of his uh, letters in one of his two of his letters he has mentioned clearly but we are not highlighting it because we have not yet reached that stage once he says you know even for this ultimate this thing we should not be depending upon ram nam because anything that is dependent upon any outside is not the correct one in another place he says you should chant sing no doubt for a certain period then it should stop so like that he keeps on reminding 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 and then finally not that what you have to remember what we have been telling you should remember you should remember him so sir it is boiling to to that point you know ultimately it is to remember him not only remember remember norm, normally we understand remember in a different way this remembrance is not that that is why once this remembrance darshan grace everything is one and the same you know becoming conscious of his presence 
these very words are put through our mouth by him so that the sense of individuality given by him becomes aware of his presence behind the sense of individuality Pranam, Pranam, Pranam. Hello, Pranam. Pranam, Pranam. Let us see what is stored for tomorrow. Hari Om. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om. Shiram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shiram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shiram, Jaram, Jaram. Hello, Pranam, Pranam. Namaskaram, Namaskaram. <laughs>